kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us solve a 12 mark or a 14 mark problem which we can expect in our question in which we have to pass the journal entries as well as we need to prepare a revised balance sheet now the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question or at least write down the question so that whenever i am explaining it will be easy for you to understand the explanation so they have given the balance sheet of a company in which liabilities are there and assets are there next they have given the additional information that is the following scheme of internal reconstruction was approved by the court preference shares are to be reduced to rupees 50 per share fully paid so in the balance sheet the preference share value is 100 rupees so that 100 rupees has to be reduced to 50 rupees then equity shares are to be reduced to 25 rupees each fully paid so equity share value is 100 rupees then that 100 rupees has to be reduced to 25 rupees debenture holders to take over stock and debtors in full settlement of their account so debenture holders are fully sacrificing so the venture holders are taking the stock and prof, uh, stock and debtors so the value of stock and debtors it has been taken over by the debenture holders so the remaining thing will be there that will be transferred to capital reduction account plant value is reduced to 50 percent of its present value now the plant value is actually six lakh 50 percent of six lakh has been reduced down in the plant value next journalize the transactions and prepare the revised balance sheet now see here first let us see how to pass the journal entry first the journal entry we need to pass for preference shares because we are reducing the value of preference shares so it is preference share capital account this is a old preference share value it is 4000 preference shares of rupees 100 each this was actually the old value of preference shares so 4000 into 100 it will be 4 lakh so 4000 into 100 will be 4 lakh now that has to be converted into this 100 rupees they are converting it into how much rupees 50 rupees of same shares so 4000 into 50 this is new preference share capital new so they are converting it to 50 rupees which is nothing but the 2 lakh now the remaining balance whatever is there that has to be transferred to capital reduction account now from 4 lakh rupees we need to subtract 2 lakh rupees so the remaining 2 lakh will be transferred to capital reduction account this 2 lakh is a sacrifice made by preference shareholders the narration will be being preference share value converted This is about preference shares. Second one is equity shares also we are converting. So equity share capital account, the old one this is. Totally we have 8000 equity shares and it was of rupees 100 each which is 8 lakh. Now this 100 rupees we are converting it to 25 rupees so same 8000 shares we are converting it to 25 rupees this we have to write it as to equity share capital account new equity shares this one so 8 lakh into sorry 8000 into 25 it will be 2 lakh now the remaining balance should be transferred to capital reduction account so capital reduction account so 8 lakh minus 2 lakh it will be 6 lakh 
so the narration will be being equity shares converted this is about the equity shares next is they have told that debenture holders to take over stock and debtors in full settlement so debentures holders debentures debentures this is 8% mortgage debentures 8% mortgage debentures how much is the value of debentures the value of debentures is 2 lakh they are taking what first one they are taking that is stock stock value is how much the stock value is 1 lakh so they are taking stock next they are even taking the debtors so how much is the debtors value debtors value is 80000 so they are even taking that 80000 also now the remaining from 2 lakh subtract 1 lakh and 80000 the remaining 20000 is the sacrifice made by mortgage debentures so all the sacrifices we will transfer it to capital reduction account narration will be being debentures settled being debentures settled now the last entries we need to adjust this capital reduction account so here we need to write capital reduction account debtor so in first journal entry we have transferred 2 lakh to capital reduction account in second entry we have transferred 6 lakh to capital account and in third entry we have transferred 20,000 so we need to add 2 lakh plus 6 lakh plus 20,000 so 2 lakh plus 6 lakh plus 20,000 is equal to 8 lakh 20,000 now with that we need to use this to write off all the intangible assets and losses first one is goodwill so to goodwill account what is the value of goodwill it is 30,000 next we are having that is profit and loss account so to profit and loss account how much is the profit and loss account value it is 4 lakh 90 thousand next in the additional information they have told that plant value is reduced by 50 percent of its present value so to plant account actual value of plant is 6 lakh on that 6 lakh we are reducing 50 percent which is equal to 3 lakh now from this 8 lakh 20 thousand we need to subtract 30 thousand then 4 lakh this is 4 lakh then 3 lakh when you subtract all these things from 8 lakh 20 thousand there will be no balance so there is no amount left for you to transfer it to capital reserve account this is 4 lakh 90 thousand so directly we will write off the narration being capital reduction amount used to write off losses will be the narration now this is how we need to pass the journal entry now let us prepare the balance sheet so in our balance sheet first component which we'll be taking will be equity and liabilities component equity and liabilities component under a uh, component under that first one we will be taking that is share capital First, let us take equity share capital. Equity share capital, it is totally how many shares? 8000 equity shares are there. 8000 equity shares of rupees 25 each. So it is 2 lakh rupees. Next, let us take preference share capital. Preference share capital. Now preference share capital total we have 4000 preference shares of rupees 50 each which is also 2 lakh rupees. Next we don't have any reserves in surplus 
we don't have any capital reserve next any component will be non current liabilities non current liabilities so in that we are having that is bank loan in question we have right bank loan how much is a bank loan it is 1 lakh rupees next we have current liabilities under current liabilities we have sundry creditors sundry creditors so sundry creditors are 2 lakh rupees now add all this 2 lakh plus 2 lakh plus 2 lakh plus 1 lakh so it will be 7 lakh this 7 lakh rupees is nothing but the total of all the liabilities the next component whatever we will take will be the assets component so first we will take the non-current assets so non-current assets in that first part will be fixed assets so in fixed assets we are having land and building so in balance sheet whatever is the value they have given that is 4 lakh rupees next we are having plant in balance sheet actually the plant value is 6 lakh but we have reduced the value 3 lakh in our journal entry so the remaining 3 lakh is only the value of plant so there is no any other assets so add 4 lakh and 3 lakh it will be 7 lakh this is the total value of assets side this is how we need to solve the problem hope you have understood this problem very well if you have understood the problem please put in the comment box that you have understood and if you have, at the same time if you have not understood the problem then also please put all your queries in the comment box so that as soon as possible we will respond to your queries thank you for watching the video with next video i'll come back very soon if you have any queries regarding today's session Kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.